In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts against any kind of man coverage, specifically shaded down man coverage in Madden 23. It comes out of the gun bunch, and we're going to be taking a look at the play Smash Return. Now, you can find this play in the Cincinnati Bengals Offensive Playbook. I have a full ebook out on the tight slots halfback weak formation in this in this uh, in this playbook. And we'll be adding to it with some of our bunch stuff, bunch half back strong, some of the other great formations in the Cincinnati playbook. So if you want to get access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and the link to sign up is in the description. All right, guys, Smash Return, one of my favorite passing concepts in the game. And why is this play so good? There's so It's an extremely, extremely versatile passing concept, and you can do a lot with it. Now, a lot of people like to shade down in man coverage. If I just simply streak the slot receiver, I don't do anything else. I just streak the slot receiver. What you're going to notice is this tight end will destroy shaded down man over the top. As you can see right there, shaded down man, super hard for this to be consistent um, against this against this this um, this route. Now, I'm going to show you another variation of shaded down man while we're at it, and that is out of the 3-3 cub because I do think that 3-3 cub is much better. It's probably the best way to play shaded down man, uh, specifically against any kind of bunch formation this year. And you're going to see kind of the same thing. You see there he gets that animation, that light up. You want a high ball, and you want a free form basically to leverage. So wherever your receiver is running with leverage, you want a high ball and free form the ball. Now that can lead to some overthrows. What you want to do to try to kind of, I guess, prevent that as best as you can is you don't want to try to, uh, you know, just you don't want to try to do too much with the free form. As you can see right there, like, you don't want to like extend it super, super far. So just kind of <laughs> for what that's worth, that's that's what I know. I've been trying to figure out free form all year long, and that's about what I got. Like you don't want to press the button too hard. Um, you know, you just want to kind of just get in the ball, but you do have to high ball. And in my opinion, you do have to free form. If I just high ball this, that right there happens all the time. As you can see, he kit he gets the catch animation and then he gets tackled, and obviously that's not what we want. Now the beauty of this concept, in my opinion, is it is the most consistent thing that I have found at, at beating Shaded Down Man. Now if you wanted to attack Shaded Down Man, another thing you can do is you can take your running back on this play, and let's say we're going to put him to the flat, okay, and then you're going to run it like this. This extra player can actually mess the coverage up even more, and give you a better chance for that kind of animation. Now, another route that I want to go over as far as like really, really good for beating man-to-man uh, -man coverage is this route to the outside receiver, which is uh, Julian Edelman. So pretty much every route on this play beats man coverage, um, but you'll see with this route to Julian Edelman and this dig, it creates kind of almost like a makeshift Shallow cross concept in the middle of the field after the fact, right? After your flood concept is kind of coming on. Now you're left with this little kind of shallow concept over on the side. Now, one other thing, like I said, I love to motion the running back over and create kind of a quads formation and then have something like this. I think this is such a good play because typically you see there, they're going to let that guy go. And then now you can just dump it down to Julian Edelman over the middle of the field. This play is also extremely, extremely powerful um, if you want to run this to the short side of the field. When you run this to the short side of the field, that, that streak is going to make a bigger impact, and it's just impossible to guard. So I'm going to go to match coverage. I want you to just watch the tight end here. If I run this just like this, a lot of times they're still going to play pretty decent uh, on the tight end. As you can see right there, he plays tight end super well. That's because of match coverage. Now, the way that you cancel match coverage in this game is you just have to have four receiving threats to one side. So I'm going to put the running back on a table route, and I'm going to motion him across the formation, and we're going to streak Christian Kirk. Now, just that one little adjustment right there, just by moving him a little bit to the right, it changes the entire way that this formation plays um, against against uh, match coverage. It, it really and truly does. The match coverage will not match. Um, you don't even have to put the running back on a route. You could literally just block your running back. You could literally just block your running back. And as you see right here, it's not going to guard it. And I can just throw that corner out over and over and over again. So now they have to get into the habit 
of dropping zones. Well, what zones do they drop, right? Well, one of the zones that they can drop is a cover two double flat, a double Mabel zone, right? We know what double Mabel is. It's just a high flat and a low flat. Well, when you put your back to the flat like this, that's where this route to Julian Edelman becomes super powerful. You're going to sit it right in that little pocket right there against that zone coverage. And as you can see, that little window is super, super good uh, for attacking any kind of double flat or double Mabel coverage. So you really have a great play um, against man and zone. This is, I think, one of the most underutilized plays out of bunch because this little pivot route is so good at attacking uh, different style defenses. Now, another thing that you can do with this play that I did want to hit on just briefly here is this idea of, you know, just basically like hard flat coverage. So let's say they have hard flat coverage. And for the purpose of the video, we're just going to drop this, this yellow zone. If you think about it, like let's, we're going to open up the user's hips to Michael Irvin. And then this yellow zone, um, we can leave it there. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But what you get a lot with this play is this little seam to the tight end. And what you can do is you can kind of hype one it right there and ag it right in between about five different zones. It's actually really, really good. So not only are you able to attack man coverage in a variety of different ways, but you also have a really good concept um, that's really, really good at beating zone coverage. Now, some adaptations. How could you change the play? Like if you wanted to make it better against man, what I would do is uh, slant Christian Kirk on the left side here, I love to post route this left side player and call it like this. And you have your tight end wide open. And then if they're playing that kind of cover three style where they're having deep halves from their safeties, you can hit Michael Irvin over the top for a touchdown. Guys, this is one of my favorite plays in Madden 23. Make sure you're in the page and you're not going to want to miss out on the Bengals stuff that we're going to be dropping. We've already got tight slots. We're going to be adding a bunch. going to be adding some of my other favorite formations in this, in this playbook. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to sign up for the Patreon. The link to do so is down in the description.